Y'all see that? Big slut energy. Okay, if y'all not gonna say what the hell is going on, then just hush, please. I need to go to a chiropractor that's gonna do a big one on me. Like, I need to feel like a 19 year old again. I'm so fed up with this. It's time. It's been time, sister. It's been time. I haven't watched it yet. Shh. I'm not gonna say anything about it. I'm excited, yeah. Okay. I am so nervous. <laughs> <laughs> She's speaking a word. She's speaking a word. We love a black accent on everyone but black women. Hello? Is anyone listening? Y'all like my little best friends that be coming along with me in my purse. Bless you. Goodbye for now until we meet again. Pib. Oh, oh, y'all can't see her. Oh, <laughs> Peb Oles. Pebbers, what you doing? What you doing? Hello to you. Hello to you. <laughs> Girl, what you got going on right now? And of course, dolls right there. Hello, got Pebs in the back. All right, hello, 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 booktubing world. It is I, Capri Nicole, and I am back with another video. You already know what it is. And if you've seen the title, then you already know this is a glow up vlog. Book baddie glow up vlog. I know that's right. Um, Y'all, it's looking bad, bad for me. I'm down three nails. My appointment is on Monday. It's literally like four days away. I'm trying to hold on. But let me tell y'all about what we're gonna be getting done and doing for this vlog and the books we're gonna be reading. Number one is taking down my hair. So I need to take down my hair tomorrow. I'm debating if I'm gonna just take it down and leave it until Saturday and then wash it and blow dry it that same day. If I take down my hair, wash and blow dry it on Thursday by Saturday, it's, it's going to be like this. It's going to be giving Ronald McDonald. My hair is, is very well known for being the shrinker, big shrinkage vibes. So I don't wanna show up there with my hair like this and then she has to stretch my hair out. I think I'll probably just take my hair down on Thursday, leave it until Saturday morning, wash and blow dry it then so that I can show up to my hair appointment with a freshly blow dried head. Number two is we're going to get wax. I'm getting wax tomorrow as well. And I'm also going to get my nose waxed for a specific reason. I'm going to get my nails taken off on either Thursday or Friday. And then Saturday, I'll be getting my hair done. Let me know in the comment section below what you think I'm doing with my hair. This will probably be my last like braiding, twisting, whatever type style. It's wig season. It's starting to get a little burr outside, which means it's time to bring out the wigs. And I have all of my wigs ready. I already know what colors I want to try. Like it's wig season. It's time to bring them back. It's time for the wigs. And then I get my nails done on Monday. As I said, I'll be getting my nails done. We have another spooky set coming. Super excited because this nail tech is so talented. The missing nails are not her fault. Honestly, this is my fault, okay? I was hitting my hands everywhere. I work with my hands. I'm an electromechanic. I wire and use hardware and use tools all day with my hands. And it's been a minute since I got my nails done. It's probably been like a month since I got my nails done. So that's really not on her. They, these just started coming off this week. I want to get my nose pierced. I've had my nose pierced before. I've had a lot of things pierced. I've had my tongue pierced. I had eight ear piercings in my ears. I've had other things pierced. I've had my hips pierced. I've had a lot of things pierced. And I really miss, I have two belly button piercings. Like I really just miss the piercings. I might bring my belly button piercing back. The top one I might have to get re-pierced, but the bottom one is still thriving. So I really just miss my piercings, like, and I really just love the way, like, a little dainty, a little dainty diamond, just, just, I love a little dainty diamond, like, I love it, 
I miss it and I'm gonna have to get that done which is why I'm getting my nose waxed because the hair is it's gotta go it's, she's overstayed her welcome she needs to go I want a clean beautiful nose for my nose piercing yeah I want to get my eyebrows done but it's like I'm not going anywhere special like I'm gonna get my eyebrows done but I wanted to get the tints again but I feel like the tents are for like special occasions, like vacations, birthdays. I'm not going anywhere special, so do I really want to go and get tents again? I don't know. So we'll either get my eyebrows threaded or we'll get my eyebrows tinted. We'll see how we feel in. Final thing is, I wanted to try going to a chiropractor. Every time me and my boyfriend travel, we always get massages. Like massages are kind of like our thing that we do together. But I've been trying to convince him to go to a chiropractor with me because I just love getting my back cracked and stuff like that. Like I just and I just want to get realigned. I just want to get realigned and get the bones popped, get the bones cracked, and just feel like you know oodling and noodling you know what I'm saying I just want my bones to feel limber and free and with me being back in the gym I just want everything to be lined up the way it's supposed to be lined up you know what I'm talking about like I need to go to a chiropractor that's gonna do a big one on me like I need to feel like a 19 year old again okay so that's what we got going on for the glow up I think that's everything I might also get a pedicure I don't know what day but yeah pedicures in there too and now let me talk about the books that I want to read. So, as far as the books are concerned, I know you guys love to see me reading romance. I've really been enjoying romance, honestly, since I've gotten my Kindle. It's been so much fun to dip and dive into some romance, you know what I'm saying? But I'm a fantasy girl. I like high fantasy. I like politics in my books. I like high stakes, low stakes, whatever war blood gore like i'm ma'am i like fantasy books i'm a fantasy girly and i've recently purchased a lot of fantasy books and all of them are calling to me but all of them are huge so i really need to narrow it down <laughs> i don't know which one i'm gonna end up reading but aside from the fantasy i wanted to pick up one of the books that I had on my physical TBR in the beginning of the year which if you haven't seen I'll link that video up above so you can check it out but I was talking about like 25 or 26 black books that I physically owned that I haven't read yet now I do own more because I have purchased more books but those original 25 26 I wanted to focus on those because I already narrowed a lot of those down so one of those books that was in the original 25 is a book that I've had for a while I've taken pictures with this book I'm a flim flammer shim shammer lied to the world I have not read this book yet but I was posing with it was pretending that I was gonna read it and still ain't read it yet so hood feminism this is a book that focuses on feminism that is not mainstream okay we need everyone included including black women trans women all of the above all right 260 pages not bad so I definitely want to pick this one up. This is one of the ones that are definitely going to get read in this vlog. Now, as far as the fantasy books go, these are the girls that I really want to pick up. Now, these are the girls that have been calling to me. This one especially, I have been wanting to start it immediately. Like, the cover just... I'm slithering if you don't know. We don't really support JK Rowling in this house, but... Harry Potter the vibes I'm a Slytherin so the green is just it's just calling out to me it's really calling out to me we have her and then this is a book that I bought recently that I saw on IG the girls were talking about and I really wanted the hardcover but that bad boy was like $30 $34 for the hardcover but she is gorgeous she is beauty she is power she is grace I want to read this so damn bad. This one's like 420. This one's like 400. And then the final contender we have Rise of the Demon Inferno. Hello? Let's talk about this cover. Hello. Focus on me. Do y'all see that? Gorgeous. Like, it's giving me like two, early 2000 vibes, but like more bad. Like, this cover is sickening. It's sickening like it is sickening but she is big and this print why is the print so damn small I think she's been X'd out 
I'm so sorry because what the print hello and the pages are filled from top to bottom this looks like a damn dictionary uh I don't know about her she might get X'd out this is 470 pages but the print is teeny tiny and it every page is filled from the top to the damn bottom every single one every single one I don't know about her but she originally was a contender so yeah we'll see which one I end up picking up she's screaming yelling and jumping up and down at me so it really might be her and she also might be it by that print uh, I don't know about that but th those are the books that's what we're gonna be doing in this glow up let me know in the comment section below what what hairstyle you guys think I'm gonna do I'm so fed up with this it's time it's been time sister it's been time okay where is my 4c girlies am I 4c ABC whatever 4c girlies rise okay you got the naps and the front and the back that's okay I still love my hair but it's been time it's been time so we're gonna get her taken care of and I'm excited to do this glow up so I will see you guys with updates I will see you guys when we do everything we gotta do to get cute and yeah see you then all right bye hopefully y'all can hear me we're on the way to get waxed this is the elevator and then a fur level and then we shall go home and we shall take these twists down. Do you see this? It's time. It's been time. You're my light in the dark, even though you are tired. This gonna hurt. It's more gonna be a pressure and a pull. I do oh, you do it? Okay, okay. I'm not that scared. I just didn't want a little hair sticking out when I'm like get a cute little nose piercing. Yeah. I want it to be bare, like mm -hmm. long. Trimming doesn't last. No, my boyfriend was like, "Why don't you just get like a little, a little?" Yeah, the little yeah. Trimmer, yeah. I'm like, if I get this, I feel like it'll last longer. Yeah. I think most of them are for males. This big. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, that wasn't bad. Whoa, I can breathe better. <laughs> Not the nose hairs were just blocking my breathing. <laughs> I never realized. It felt like, it felt like a plunger. Almost. Okay, that wasn't that bad. I need you better with that. I can breathe something better with that. That wasn't that bad. Yeah. Okay. You have sinus problems too. <laughs> or allergies. One, two, three. Okay. Whoa. Wait. Look at that. Whoa. Wait. Look at that. All of that hair was in my nose. That is crazy. Miss Fox in your eyes are what I desire. We have the hair taken down. I haven't washed it yet. Shh. I'm not gonna say anything about it. I'm just gonna let my hair breathe, catch some sun relax and then saturday morning i wash my hair go to my appointment the nails are off we popped them bad boys off last night that's done i got waxed <laughs> i did make sure i filmed because i wanted you guys to see when i got my nose waxed because that's my first time ever doing anything with my nose hair like i don't i don't do none of that never did any of that and honestly it did not hurt my eyebrows getting my eyebrows threaded or wax hurts more than me getting my nose waxed so I will be doing that again it kind of just felt like a pressure like it just felt like pressure it felt like if she put like a plunger on my nose that's literally what that felt like it was zero pain I was perfectly fine I found a place that I want to go to to get my nose pierced I'm gonna call the girl tomorrow and see when she's available I'm looking for like next week 
after I get my hair done because I, like I said, I'm not trying to have new hair and new piercing at the same time. No, I get my hair like a week and a half to like chill out and breathe and not be tight and then I'll get my nose pierced. Still haven't really decided on the books. I think I'm going to X her off of the list because I'm sorry, but once I saw the size of the print and that it's literally filled from top to bottom, I still really want to read this, but I feel like this is something I should consume on my own time when I have ample amount of time, maybe for like a 24 hour readathon or something like that. No, she's number one. She's she's happening. Like she's confirmed, confirmed, confirmed. Now her plus one, I'm not sure on. I really am leaning towards this, but her, she looking kind of good. I don't know. Like. I still don't know so yeah and then this is also calling to me a book that I recently purchased only 50 pages but I don't know we'll see we'll see we'll see we shall see I'm rambling let me go so the next thing we'll be doing is getting our hair done so Saturday we'll be getting our hair done Monday we'll be getting our nails done and then everything else will just tumble into each other so I'll see you guys then with the update okay bye the hair is blow dried. I am going to go and get my hair done, so I'll see you guys when I come back. But the fight that I had to go through with this hair, I have got to look up like natural hair blow drying tips because a lot of these hairdressers now do not wash and blow dry your hair, so you have to do it yourself. And I'd be fighting for my life in that bathroom. Even when I, I detangled it last night and twisted it and washed it last night, but this morning I just blow dried it and it was like World War Five in there. It was bad. It was really bad, but it's okay. It's it's done. The puffs are out. This will be taken care of soon. Bring in like three books. I'm bringing Hood Feminism. I'm bringing the the other the fantasy book, and I'm bringing like a small book. I don't know which one. I'm gonna read, I have to edit too, because I have a video that's going up today. But we're gonna see the vibes once I get there. So I will check in with you guys then. Okay. It's like rain drops as they roll down the window. Heavier as they fall. And when the train stops, there's a moment of silence. It's like rain drops as they roll down the window Heavier as they fall Alright y'all <laughs> How we feeling about the her? Look at this Oh my god, I got 36 inches I get these, the crochet soft locks because it's not heavy like when you get long hair, I swear that should be so damn heavy. But with the soft locks, it's so light. It literally doesn't feel like anything's hanging from my head. Under the booty. Under the booty. It goes like literally to the middle of my thighs. <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it. I love how light it is. Now. The thing is, I brought my books, I brought my 
laptop as I do as a creator but the hairstylist that I went to she had a lot of stuff going on in her life child so we was gossiping the whole time I was like baby let me put my books away because what you gotta tell me is a little more important so we was talking literally from the start of my appointment to the end yeah but she was really nice I really liked her she did a great job these came out adorable I did crisscross in the front this is the first time I've seen somebody like be able to do the swoopy swirly swishy with my baby hairs because usually they'd be fighting for their life because my my edges are not swooly swirly ready okay but she was able to do it will this look like this tomorrow no because i don't know how to do that but she did a really great job it wasn't crazy expensive loved how it came out it's super long <laughs> I love it. I absolutely love it. I honestly might get this style again just because it was so simple and she said she's coming back next month and if I want I can just get the front redone. Phenomenal. Amazing. 10 out of 10. So the two books that I have decided on reading in this vlog is Bones to the Wind because she's different. I never see anybody really talk about her on booktube and Hood Feminism. So it has been narrowed down. I have picked these two. I really wanted to pick up We Are The Origin, but I kind of want to read that one on my own and not in a vlog style. So these are going to be the focuses in this video. I might also pick up this book, which is I Want To Love My Own Life. This is the book I hauled in one of my recent videos. I don't remember which one but it's short so i might read this one as well since i didn't get to read during my hair appointment i'll probably end up reading for a majority of today and then i got this y'all see that big slut energy where my sluts at where my sluts at if you in atlanta you already know where i got this from slutty vegan which is a vegan burger place they have the best burgers i've ever had in my life real burger and vegan burger the best burgers i've ever had in history i've already been serious with the gym i joined a new gym stuff like that i'm always consistent with that but i need to get serious about my diet and about what i'm eating and what i'm putting in my body stuff like that but slutty vegan she's always a go she's always a go big slut energy i should wear this every time i read smut because sluts slut nation rise up okay but love it live for it very cute so the plan is to get some reading done for this vlog in the time that I have after I finish editing. Love how this came out. Super cute. I did a little patch of like orangish brown for a spooky season, you know. If I could have got purple, I would have got purple, baby. I would have got purple or I would have got green as a little patch. But for the dreads, it's hard to find specific colors. So I got that. But I will update you guys once I actually read something. Bye. Looks like I lost my favorite times. See, you've been on the mind. I've been seeing great lights, got inside your great lights. Let me talk to you in straight lines. guys 
so I have finished the book, but it is I Want to Love My Own Life. And boy, was this dark. This was a dark one. This one was dark, very dark. Heavy on depression, heavy on just everything you could think of that involves like someone killing or being killed is in this. Basically, this book follows the main character. Her name is Pika, and she goes to like this crystal-esque vibey store to get help on fatigue, and she's struggling with balancing. Basically, she's struggling with balancing her life, and it seems like a little bit of depression, but she's going to the shop to get like some type of like powders or, you know, anything like, you know, sage, like the crystals, anything like that that would help her overcome fatigue but the shop owner asked her a ton of questions to find out more about the things she's dealing with and you know they kind of get into a little spat because Pika feels like she's being a little bit invasive but really the lady's just trying to help her she ends up giving her this powder and she 100% does not want to take the powder so she's like I'm not taking this I don't need because the lady what does the lady say to her okay so she said oh Fatigue is not your problem, Pika. It is merely a symptom of your problem. Your problem is that you do not value the ability to love, which can make life feel quite exhausting. Hopefully this will help, but results may vary. So, I don't know why, but that line I really liked. And even when she was like going over like her day-to-day -day and what she does, the lady was like giving her advice on certain things and she just instantly was had like a comeback on everything and it just was like these are easy solutions to your life but you know you don't want to apply them and then basically she goes home she doesn't want to take the powder she gets really drunk and then she decides you know what okay I'm gonna take the powder she takes the powder she starts having all these hallucinations she starts throwing up like everywhere crazy 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 and then she starts seeing like all these hallucinations and one of her hallucinations is that start telling her like short stories based off of like really tragic stories that all end in death so i don't know what to make of this book honestly i'm gonna say i enjoyed it the writing was really good the, sh the premise was really good it was very dark i don't want to say gory because it wasn't like too deep on like how the the killings or the deaths happen in each story but it was gruesome like there is no happy ending like in the beginning i like her author's note where she says like oh every ending hopefully there's a happier beginning blah 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 but in the book it didn't feel like that so i definitely want to look up some people's reviews some people's thoughts some people's breakdowns and critiques on this book because i enjoyed it you know i enjoyed the illustrations i enjoyed the message but i want to know if there was anything that i missed all in all this is another book that I would say I enjoyed but I don't know if I would recommend it to other people because it might be harmful to their mental health because it is very dark. It didn't feel like a poetry book where it's like oh some of these are hit and miss or some of these are just like what are we talking about? They all were hits but I want to see what they took from each story and, and if I could reread it and draw more from it but I enjoyed it. It felt very dark, um, very tragic but good. So I haven't started any of the other books. Hood Feminism is sitting over here staring at me. <laughs> so I might start that one before the fantasy book. Bye. All right, y'all. Here are the nails. Can you see? Can you see them? Come on, focus. You can do it. There we go. So we got another spooky set. We got some gems added to her. Very glittery very pretty she did a great job as always i'm really excited for my next set y'all will obviously see it but yeah these came out dope can't nobody touch no halloween though i was like come on okay y'all uh, little bit of an update why do i look blue is it really blue over here why do i look blue I don't know if I'm tripping, but this looks blue. Sorry if the lighting is off. I just want to give y'all a little bit of update. This might be the vlog that I finally finished, The Final Strife. I've been reading this book since my last glow up video, which has been literally like two months. 
only because I've had so many videos that I've been filming that have specific TBRs that this kind of have been put on the back burner. But I literally have like 40 pages left in this book. She wasn't a part of the TBR for this video, but she's getting finished because I have been reading this book forever. Hood Feminism, I have started listening to on audiobook because I had it on my Libby app, but I didn't have the physical copy with me. And within like the first 5% of the book, there were so many excerpts that I wanted to highlight. So I just stopped. I stopped and I'm going to continue to listen to it tomorrow because there were so many things I wanted to highlight, underline, especially when she was talking about being a kind person but not being a nice person because that's literally me like i'm kind to people but i reserve my niceness for people that i'm close with and that that whole section was when i paused it because i was like she's speaking a word she's speaking a word and i gotta pause so i can highlight so those are the two updates once i finish this either tonight or early tomorrow I'll give y'all a bit of an update and thoughts on Final Strife. And then all I'll have left is the fantasy book. But yeah, so far, successful reads. So I will see you guys next update. Oh, and I have started watching a new anime called The Promised Neverland. I think it's called The Promised Neverland. Phenomenal. I'm like six episodes in. I'm not sure if they're continuing. I didn't want to look it up because that's how you run into spoilers. But... It's good. It's really good. It follows these or and it's definitely giving me spooky vibes. Very spooky, creepy, dark vibes. Very dark. So it basically follows this orphanage that is run by someone that they call mom or whatever. They all have it's giving cult because all of them wear the same little outfits. They're all happy and cheery and whatever. Okay, they find out some dark and twisted stuff is going on behind the scenes. And now they're trying to escape. They're trying to escape. They're all like 12 years old or younger and it's kind of like a closed door thriller because you know what's going on within the first not even the end i want to say like 10 minutes into episode one you find out what's going on there is no suspense there is no build up they tell you straight up what's happening within the first episode halfway through so you know what's going on it feels like a closed door thriller because you're just waiting to see what's going to happen seeing how they're going to escape you know who the bad guys are it's very interesting. I'm really enjoying it. And I'm excited to see the rest of the episode. So I'll be watching that. And I'll be eating my soup that I made in the last video. Which if you have not seen, I'll link it up above so y'all can check that out. And I will see you guys in the next update. Okay? Alright, goodbye. updates for y'all take my glasses off child i have some updates i've been reading this book since the last glow up vlog and it feels so good to finally say that i'm finished overall i gave it four stars if you don't know what the final strife is about it's basically this fantasy book that follows a land that's divided by their blood color is like red blue or clear there's levels to the hierarchy and who is deemed as basically slaves and who's deemed as worthy of being respected within the community but there is a rebellion going on and our main character is a part of that it also follows like a championship because in this land there are wardens and each warden is in charge of a specific thing like the warden of strength, the warden of knowledge, whatever. So one of the wardens, her daughter, when they're considered royalty, her daughter is going to be competing in this competition. So it's basically following that. It's also following our main character and her struggles with being in the rebellion and being a new person and having different points of views. Honestly, when you're not being told to have a specific mindset overall i really enjoyed it at one point i did get a little i don't want to say bored because the writing was so immaculate i cannot say bored but i kind of was like let's speed this up it kind of got like monotonous because it was like each chapter 
was leading up to a specific trial which was like a specific competition and it kind of felt like the same going through the same motions over and over and over again and there was like this secret that they were waiting to reveal and they literally waited until like the last like i want to say like five chapters to show what the reveal was so to be hinting at it for the whole book <laughs> like imagine going through like 400 pages of people hinting at something and then finally revealing it within the last like few chapters that was like a little bit frustrating it was like okay if y'all not gonna say what the hell is going on then just hush please i also didn't like one of the romances in here i honestly feel like every single fantasy book does not need to have romance like it's so good and and honestly nice to see friendships and fantasy and a lot of readers really enjoy found, found families and friendships in books i really don't understand the necessity to have romance in every book like sometimes it's just really not called for especially in a way it kind of felt rushed and if it was like low key they were feeling each other it should have been more pining and it should have been more build up not just like random feelings in a way so those are my only issues with this book but overall the cover is gorgeous the plot was great the characters were great the world was really cool the political intrigue was really interesting i'm excited to read the next book i think it's a, tr a trilogy i almost said trilogy so what kind of word if you can see she's tabbed up yeah she's tabbed up i had tabs for predictions predictions were purple things that i loved was pink shocking or a big scene was like mint a little bit of a, a bluey blue <laughs> And then something sad was light blue, dark blue was quotes, and then like this blue right here was for history. So anything that was like important in regards to like their history or things that was going on, that's that was my tabbing system for this book. Overall, I really enjoyed it. Really excited to read more by this author. They did a great job with it. Another moment of silence for the cover. Now, my other update is for hood feminism. Now, me stopping within the first, like, 3% of the book because I wanted to listen to the audiobook and annotate it was the right move. Because, as you can see, she is tabbed up, okay? She is tabbed to the gods. Like, this author is really covering <laughs> everything. Like, she's literally covering every single thing that you can think of and some of my i'm gonna give you guys a couple of quotes but one of my favorite things about this book is the chapter names I'll give you a couple of them one is it's raining patriarchy another one is how to write about black women another one is pretty for a dot 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 and then there was one for the fetishization of fierce the hood doesn't hate smart people missing and murdered fear and feminism race poverty and politics solidarity is still for white women gun violence hunger fast tail girls and freedom education housing reproductive justice parenting while marginalized allies angers and accomplices she covers all the bases like i was so i was so intrigued to hear a book about feminism cover hunger like her chapter on hunger was just something obviously i've heard the uh, you know the comments and, and things that were brought up in, in that chapter before but for it to be a feminist book and to her for her to dive into hunger and poverty and middle class and working class and anyone that's like struggling or living check to check trying to put food on the table and provide for their family and tying that into feminism was so well done and one of the things that she talked about was like how soda is pitched as this terrible thing and it has so it's so bad for you and they're gonna tax it up higher so people stop stop purchasing it and usually soda something that's bought from like lower income families and then cappuccinos 
and fraps have like triple the amount of sugar in it but it's not marketed as something that's bad so it is tied to obesity and tied to unhealthiness and stuff like, like the way she dived into it phenomenal this is also a book that i'm listening to really really slow i'm listening to it at 1.25 speed like i'm a 1.8 2.0 audiobook girly so i had to slow her down because i want to understand and hear everything she's saying you know what i'm saying like not saying that if i listen to it at a specific speed i'm not hearing it but i really wanted to soak in everything that she's saying she talks about trans women she talks about indigenous women she talks about asian women black women white women ways to fix the issues we have she talks about the patriarchy like she literally i don't think there's a rock left unturned with you know what i'm saying there's nothing she didn't cover in this book and these quotes are so, so phenomenal so right now i have three different tabs if y'all can see i have gold which is for quotes i have this gray one which is for anything that's like sad and i have red for anything that made me angry second page i already got a quote she was talking about sex work and sexuality and the way that you carry yourself and she was diving into how people feel like you need to be respectable in order to be deemed a value which i really loved i feel like people look at things that people wear or judge them by what they wear or treat them how they feel they should be treated based off of the that they have on which is crazy so one of the quotes that i highlighted was no woman has to be respectable to be valuable we can't demand that people work in order to live then demand that they be respected only if they do the work that doesn't challenge outdated ideas around women's rights to control their bodies hello is anyone listening you know what i'm saying like i feel like like she was saying mainstream feminism focuses on the just inequality of women that are deemed respectable or deemed you know what i'm saying they don't include sex workers they don't include trans women they don't include anyone that's outside of the you know norm outside of the box they don't include them into these <laughs> but hey i have tabbed and and folded down so many pages and <sighs> great book really really enjoying it i'm so glad i finally picked this one up i have taken pictures with this book i'm a flim flammer because i have not read the book yet but now i'm halfway done okay here we go oh this one this one was my favorite okay so it says we adore the idea of a fierce black girl who fights back but we penalize her as soon as she does we love a black accent on everyone but black women need i say more need i like when i tell you she is flipping over everybody's bull and calling everybody out i'm living for it i'm simply living for it i'm i'm glad that it's so inclusive because there's so many women that are left out in mainstream feminism and this is the type of shit that i i there's so many pages that i highlighted like four things in one page and it's just like as a black woman reading this it's just a different feeling it's just a different feeling but i think everyone should read it so that they can have an understanding of people's experiences and see where they're wrong like it's not i wrote a sticky tab that says this book clearly wasn't meant to divide but to identify the issues and address them with empathy of others experience and that's going to be my goodreads review because i feel like somebody might look at this book and say oh well you're saying everything that's wrong with this and you're not saying what we could do to fix it but there are a lot of notes in here where she says what can be done to fix the issue so i can already see people shaking in their boots saying that this is just causing a divide between all of the races and stuff like that which is a cop out okay instead of like listening to what she's saying and addressing the issue you want to cop out and say it's not fair whatever what was me but no matter what race you are i honestly think if you're a feminist or you like feminist books i really think you should pick this one up take your time reading it i feel like it's kind of like poetry in a way where you have to sit and listen and digest all the topics that she's covering because she's covering everything 60 percent into this one so this one will probably get finished tomorrow i just wanted to update y'all i need to edit i need to shower i didn't do all this stuff 
so I will see you guys in the next clip. All right. I'm about to get my eyebrows done. I didn't do my makeup yet because it didn't make sense to do my makeup because when I get my eyebrows threaded, I have to like hold my eyeball down and I ain't trying to smudge and mess up my lashes. So I'll do my lashes once I get back to work. Yes, I did leave work to get my eyebrows done. My business. We're gonna go in here and get threaded. Let me know down below the girlies that get their brows done. Do you prefer waxing, threading, or tinting? I think waxing I'm not a big fan of because it doesn't really last that long for me and it kind of irritates my skin. Threading is fine, but the pain is worse. Tint I think like out of all the services I've gotten done, as far as like my eyebrows. Tinting's my favorite, but it's also the most expensive child. Okay, tinting is like 70 to like a hundred dollars, but it'll last two to six weeks. So it's more expensive, but it lasts for a while. Threading is seven dollars. So we're gonna go get threaded. And then the last thing I have to or a couple things I have to do is get my nose pierced. I have an appointment for that on Saturday at 12, and I will see you guys after I get my brows done. So here's the buffoam. So the brows are done they came out so pretty see every time i get my brows done i'd be like maybe i should just stick to the threading because look at the precision like the precision i don't know the thread didn't really be doing it for me i know my eyebrows are red but they really just are so quick and look so good but the brows is dead baby now i just gotta do my makeup we're gonna be back in business Go out to hop up at the show for me You went to bed when no one else is up I thought that you would need some help for me But mama, you ain't even helping yourself Go out to hop up at the show for me You went to bed when no one else is up I thought that you would need some help for me I need God to carry, dead and buried Myself back inside that cemetery Purgatory got born I came back to assure you that you're important Don't ignore this, flames I was poking Went unnoticed and unspoken Now I ain't speaking, God this weekend Out of crime, out of sight, out of mind Where you were at the time update i am 100 pages into her and this is my first time using these little circular tabs i don't know if you guys can see can you see like the circular tabs i've been using these and at first i had them sticking out all the way because i thought the circle was supposed to be exposed completely and it looked crazy so it looks so much cuter like that i love that but yeah, I'm 100 pages in, so let me give y'all a little bit of update about this book. So this book basically follows like three specific main characters. You have Raja, you have Nico, and you have Kai. So Raja is a wild card. So this is Raja. She, I'm pretty sure this is Raja. But yeah, Raja is like a wild card. She's like 
if you hybrid if you hybrid Junie B. Jones and Captain Jack Sparrow and put them in the desert with like desert ships and it was a female pirate that's what Raja is so Raja is a complete wild card she's kind of there she's called rabbit Raja which she does not like but she's a very driven person she's a hard worker and she's willing to do anything she's a bit of an asshole but I like her then we have Nico who is known as the Ohani which is the chosen one from my understanding, her family is the only one within the land that has like magical dwelling abilities. I don't know if other people there have abil uh, magical abilities as well, but the way that I see it, they're like the royal family in a way, and they all have a magical ability. Nico's magical ability is water, so she can control water and like forge water from her hands, which is really cool and she's also very stubborn very headstrong and she is like ultimate rivals with raja they hate each other they've hated each other since like children then we have kai who is nico's brother and he's kind of like the runt of the family he's very small he is bullied a lot he is not powerful at all and he's very shy he's very quiet he's very to himself and he's the youngest so those are basically our main characters in this world they're basically going to like this school and within the school they have this specific day called the forging which is where they go out into the land and they have to hunt something down and bring it back that's the gist of it they have to hunt something down and bring it back in this land there's a ton of different creatures like scorpions dragons there's these things called is it gorda there's gondas which are like these big lizard things and there's shinkos which are also like lizard things i think like there's a ton of creatures in this but you basically have to capture something and bring it back to the school i think they get i want to say either a week or a month i can't remember but they get a specific amount of time to do this you have to pair up in teams you don't get to pick your teams your teachers pick your teams and you guys go together on basically like this desert ship and you go to track down what you're going to hunt so raja and nico inevitably end up on the same team <laughs> and it is a shit show it's like five other people raja is like determined to hunt down the gonda and bring it back within like two days because her it's either her mother or her father i think her father it only took him two days to bring back Aganda when he did his forging, so she's like determined to beat his time. That does not end up going well with the little team that she's with, so she ends up saying, F the team, she goes off on her own, and she's like, I'm going to slay a dragon. But she knows that she can't do it by herself. She actually hid her ship out in the desert with where the forging is happening, so, so as a just-in-case thing. So she goes to that, and she's also looking around for other people completing their forging to try to assemble, like, a makeshift team. And nobody wants to go with her. So she ends up pairing up with Kai, who was also one of the people that were around the land. And now they're together, and they're trying to hunt down this dragon and make this shit happen. So that's basically what's happening in this book. I'm really enjoying it. It's very interesting. I'm, I'm still only 100 pages in. This is almost... It's like a 460 page book so i have a lot more to go but for the most part that's the gist of the book bones are also a really big part of this book as well they also wear i think it's called shrouds they wear shrouds like covers i don't know if it's a mask or a cover up until they're they complete the forging and they become adults that's when they can take the shroud off another thing that was interesting in me, to me is the fact that nico is considered like basically the, the royal family or whatever but they get treated the same as everyone else everyone gets their food rationed out everyone has specific things they have to do she still goes to school with everyone else like she's still seen as like the chosen one but she still experiences life the same way as everyone else which is really different because usually like royalty they're up in a castle living their best life completely shut off from the world obviously they're still highly pressured and under and in control of a lot of politics but it's very different from like rationing out food and struggling and you know family issues stuff like that it's like it, she's still a part of the regular 
other community so that was different but i'm really enjoying it raja is definitely my favorite character in the book nico seems very hard-headed and so does raja <laughs> but i think that's why they keep buttons heads because they're very much alike i'm really enjoying it i'm hoping to get more into it and we'll see if i finish this I'll probably get like halfway done. I don't see myself finishing this before I post this video. That is it. I wanted to give y'all an update. I will see y'all in the next clip. Bye. Alright y'all. This lighting is so damn weird. I literally look pink. Alright. It was a fight to get this sweater on. But you know what? It's really cute. Because it got little puffy edges. I don't know why this thing's so damn tight. But anyway. Child. The day has come. I'm getting my nose pierced. I still want to go to a chiropractor, but I need to call them to see if... Boy, gone. Can you move? Baby. Babe. Okay. So, I still want to go to a... Hey! <laughs> I still want to go to a chiropractor, but I got to call to see if I have to have an appointment or not. If I can't go, then I just won't. I'll probably close the vlog. But, I'm going to get my nose pierced. I'm gonna get it done on the left side. I wanna get it in the same spot that I had it before. Just a little dainty diamond, you know? The leaves are crunching. See here? Crunchy leaves. <laughs> the leaves are so crunchy. It makes me happy though. Yes, tis the season. Once upon a blue moon to two. Hello. Hi. Yes. <laughs> you had your nostril pierced before? Um, yeah. I had my nose pierced. I had it. I had it pierced on the left. Okay. Do you want to do the left today? Okay. Cool. I think you can kind of still kind of see where it was. It was, it was in a cute little spot, but I was really young. I think I was like a teenager. Those days are over. <laughs> but, yeah, I was a teenager when I got a pierced. You can't be that much past a teenager. I'm 30, so. What? Yeah. I feel you. I'm 35. Are you really? Mm -hmm. I'm, I feel the 30s, though. I feel like it's, it's Dude, the start of it, but I I'm like. I love my 30s. I like I'm honestly it. looking forward to my 40s. The 20s are so ghetto. I was already out of there. I'm like, okay, wrap it up here. The 20s are for experimenting and deciding, um, making all the bad choices. Yeah. yeah. I'm unstable. It's the weekend. All she want to do is listen to Abel. If you're willing to able, just give me my space. I know that she it makes you anxious, but promise I'm grateful. Shawty, give me what I want and need so she can get just what she want from me. Even if just a bit of company, yeah, of company. Sugar, you got that something. I feel that shit right when I met you. That shit that made these Are you nervous? Uh, not really. You I'm excited. excited. Yeah. Okay. I'm so nervous. <laughs> 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 I'm inside first. Why are you slowing down? Oh, to oh. traffic. Break lines, red lights, hold hands, grip tight, play fights, your lips still taste like Mickey's sweet tea. Who wants to try through shit without you? That we break bounds, red lights, whole hands, group tight, play face, your lips still taste like Mickey sweet tea. I'm trying to drive through without you, without me, sweet tea. Turn a rubber smooth tread on my car tires. All talk got your spark tires. Butterflies in my stomach. When 
I got my nose pierced before it was on my list. It was this alcohol stick. <laughs> I'm a little bit OCD about it. No, I <laughs> wish it was like it. this. <laughs> one of them was good, and then the second one got infected like immediately. Oh, baby. I'm excited. Tell me, sweet burn a rubber smooth tread on my car ties. All talk got your spark tied. Butterflies in my stomach putting out this hard fire. Love sick. A couple wild things I'm in love with. Just write a subject, our song, complaining in public. I beat the drum quick, last bite Know your ass, know the clap light It's a part of effort, I come direct I'm clear, calm, excise I'm not calm on the mics so Break lines, red lights, hold hands, grip tight Play fights, your lips still taste like Mickey, sweet tea Who wants to drive through shit without you? Without we Break lines, red lights, hold hands, grip tight Play fights, your lips still taste like Mickey, sweet tea But we're done! Yay! Yeah! That was good. Take a look. Let me know what you think. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> it's so cute. It's always that one tear that comes uh -huh. trickling down. Do you want a tissue? Oh, no. I'm good. Okay. It's so cute. It is so cute. Ah, I love it. I love it so much. It's cool. so cute. Love it. Let's go with my glasses. All right. We can see. As long as I can see. Cute. Price booking, but in case you need it again, please hit me up, text me if you need me, if you have any questions or concerns. Okay. Awesome. Thank you. Okay. Uh, little Island. Come on, focus, Chad. We need you to focus. Look Let's at Let's go. Oh, it's so cute. Oh my god. I love a little dainty diamond. Oh, period. When I get my lashes done, I do my makeup, I'm going to be unstoppable. I think on a scale of 1 to 10 for pain, I'll give it a 2. She did a great job. She was really thorough with like explaining like how to the aftercare and stuff like that. I can't wait to go back because they were so sweet. I can't wait to go back and like change it because I saw this really cute little genie lamp. And y'all know I love Aladdin. It's cute. Uh, she is cute. And my eyebrows are done. Oh, if my lashes was done, I really would be unstoppable right now. But it's just giving puffy right now. But it's okay. We move. Your girl is tired. I slept for like four hours last night. It's all right. But ah, it's so cute. So long, farewell to you, my friends. Goodbye for now. Until we meet again. I said so long, farewell. To you, my friends. Goodbye for now. Until we meet again. Mm, 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 mm. How many people know that song? That's a. Uh, I don't feel like it's that old, but every time I be thinking I'm not that old, I'm quickly reminded that I am. But if you know what song <laughs> that show is from, let me know in the comment section below. But I'm just gonna go ahead and close this vlog out, y'all. I'm in my pedicure tomorrow. Chiropractor, I didn't go to yet. I did find one, but I'm just trying to chill. <laughs> I don't want to stretch this out for too long because y'all already know this vlog probably already long as hell anyway. And I want to get this vlog up for you guys today. So we're just gonna close it out on me getting my nose pierced and we're gonna call it. Maybe next glow up, we'll try the chiropractor and I can actually show you guys the place I go to to get my pedicure if all goes well. But yeah, I think it's time to close it because y'all know I will keep y'all with me forever because y'all like my little best friends that be coming along with me in my purse. Bless you. Successful reading vlog, if I do say so myself. The first book that we read was I Want to Love My Own Body by Nadira. By the Bing. That was the first one. Second one was Hood Feminism by Mickey Kendall. Mickey? Mickey. Is it Mickey? This is why I don't say author names because I'll be feeling like I'm saying this wrong. So we just going Hood Feminism. That was the second book. And the third one, I got 150 pages in. Really enjoying it. It feels so good to be in a fantasy world where I belong. I already have like the next five videos <laughs> planned. One of them's already done. I had just really be getting ahead of myself, but that's what we have going on in this vlog. We got our hair done. We got our eyebrows done. We got our nose pierced. We got our nails done. We did all the things. We got the wax. We got the nose wax. Done. We experienced all the things together. 
I'm not gonna go to a chiropractor until I take you guys with me. I like experiencing stuff with y'all for the first time. Yeah, like if I do something I've never done before, I would prefer to do it with you guys with me. So we are gonna hold out on the chiropractor until next time, but I'm excited to still go there. If you made it to the end of this video, please leave a box in the comment section below. Let me know if you enjoyed this video. If you have any piercings or if you've ever gotten your nose pierced, let me know if you've read or heard of any of these books. And if you haven't, you already know, Adam T O T B R. But thank you guys so much for watching. Always remember, read a book, keep your life interesting, and I will see you next time. Bye.